Are you just warming up from this distance? Or do you do all of it? I've just been doing it from here. Pretty close, yeah. So just as you're going through these, can you talk a little bit about what's helped you the most with this programming? Yeah, for sure. I think as, as I've done this, a lot of this stuff, at first I thought it was kind of out there, but a lot of the on knee stuff has been really useful. Being able to feel like where you need to drive from when you're actually throwing, and then translating that into the full stride. Like for this here, before, I just reach out as far as I could. No good, because nothing's coming from my back leg versus mm -hmm. the on-knee stuff where if you don't drive out of that, you're stuck and nothing happens with the ball. Right. What do you think's helped you more, the, the drill stuff or the strength and conditioning? And Definitely the strength and conditioning. Yeah. Throwing's always come pretty well to me. As I've done it, like, this seemed to complement how I threw the whole time. Right. And the big part of it was just being strong enough to get through the proper movements. And I noticed as I got stronger, my mechanics changed really drastically, even without all of the drill stuff in general. Right. Like it was there to complement it and make sure that I was getting there and it wasn't going completely off course. But getting stronger allowed me to get through all the positions that I couldn't before when I started. So what were the jumps you made? Um, in my first year I went from throwing 73-74 to throwing 83-84 and then after that in my second year to my third year I went from sitting around 83-84 to sitting 86 area. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't anything, nothing happened just gradually like my lifts and weight and all that went up kind of slowly but my velocity didn't go up with them it would just kind of jump after a while. Uh -huh. And be there. Wasn't expecting that at all. But whatever works. And then when did you eventually hit 90? This summer. This summer? Yeah? Yeah. So that was after what, your third off season? Yeah, third from really seriously doing it. Yeah. Right. It took me a while to start. I was super nervous about going to the gym, being around people. Oh yeah? Yeah. I did not want to lift with people. When I was in like grade 10, I was working out with my team and someone told told me that I was using too much weight for lifting because I was too small. Uh -huh. I just You're like, yeah, I just I'm over it. <laughs> completely off the gym. And then after starting this, I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's just see. Stop worrying about everyone else and see how far we can get here. Right. So you're glad you did it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's just all aspects of life just so much better. Right. Beyond just baseball going to the gym, being more confident about it. Right. Being willing to just try new stuff like this. Right. Never would have done that before. That's awesome, man. So what were some of the lifting uh, gains that happened? Did you gain body weight? Did, what, did your lifts go up? Everything. Yeah? Um, I, I'll go with the most recent stuff, but when I came to Long Beach about a year and a half, two years ago, mm -hmm. I was 145, 140 area coming in and I'm 170, 175 right now. Oh wow, man. So that's a huge difference right there. And then from lifting wise right there, I think my clean went up from like 175 to 215. Mm -hmm. My squat went up from, I think 295 to 335. Mm -hmm. And my bench press went from like 155 to 225. What was your power clean? Ah, uh, 215. 215, that's right. Or, yeah. Right on, man. And then a straight clean, I've gotten up a bit past that. Okay. But still working on the technique for all that stuff. I hear you. So what did you do nutrition-wise to gain that weight? I just, it was really less about what I ate and just making sure that I 
was consistent with my meals and then picking out food for it that wouldn't just be a waste right right like i cut out a lot of pop mm -hmm. and that especially like once i started to get more involved with it so you just started eating higher quality foods that were yeah. going to start building muscle basically that mm -hmm. helped a lot and i made sh i had to shift my eating schedule a lot i eat super slow yeah so i couldn't just do three meals a day with school and baseball and hope to eat enough I'd, right I'd right lose weight i'd be at 155 160 right mm -hmm. now there's no way that i would ever hold my weight so i had to change it so i'd end up eating two full meals a day a small smallish breakfast and a really big dinner uh -huh. and then lunch would just be kind of before baseball after baseball two really small meals with snacks throughout the day okay but it really changed how i went about everything for it right beyond just me, people on my team saw the difference that happened because I came back over the summer throwing so much harder and they're like, I kind of want to do that too. So they might not have done the same thing, but they added to their weightlifting, right. added to their eating, like, what'd you do? Mm -hmm. Give them a basic idea and it helped them a lot too. Cool, man. Were they ready to work as hard as you? Some of them. Yeah. I take pride in trying to outwork every single person I see there. Right. I think that's what a lot of guys don't understand is how much work coming down to the camp when you do an evaluation and you go through everything, like how much work you're getting into yourself into kind of yeah. like surprises a lot of people. I'd imagine the first time I came, I was kind of like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. And then I actually went through the program for the first time and I was just like, oh my God, yeah. what have I done? <laughs> right. So that's why it took me a while to start. So I was like, I don't know how much I can clean. I've never done it before. Right, right. And try, that was the biggest one for me. It was like, where do I start? Right. How, how much weight do I use? Mm -hmm. What's normal here? And then once I got past that into the gym, it was just kind of like, okay, I need to set aside this time, even if it sucks at first. and really commit myself to at least trying it. What's up, dog?
Don't mind them. Huh? Don't mind them, man. <laughs> it's your world. We're just living in it. It's hot. Yeah, it is. My bad, guys. Go with the cones. It's alright. It's okay. It's Zach's world. We're all just living in it. I already oh, said my. that. I just said Look that. Me, I'm Zach. Selfish is a selfish does. Oh my! The rookie. I remember that. The rookie. Zach, right, we remember all the times you don't do your dishes. Dude, I always do my dishes. There's a I'm blender. There's a blender in there in the sink right as we that's, speak. That's, that's mine. Uh, oh, wait, that one? I'm in this one. That's know. his. So I brought it with me. No, the one at at the house. Oh, that's not me. That's that's mine. Yeah. See, his I'm always do my dishes. His is in the sink over there. Someone's weak immune system spreading the nasal drip too. That's his. Who is I'll, it? I'll take that one. That's me. Every day is day one. That's why he's the rookie. I'm gonna hang out in that ace pitcher handbook for, uh, for eternity, man. What's up? There's three levels. Just saying so you know. that. That's a rookie move. Dude, you look like Cactus out there. I jumped too far. Cactus all the time. Hey, it's just extra.
Good, Rick. Good. Future big league right there. He's gonna throw 100, right? You gonna throw 100 miles an hour? 103, beat daddy. No? <laughs> you gonna throw 100 miles an hour? Say yeah. He says no. I'm gonna throw 103. I'm gonna beat daddy. Daddy did. You gonna throw harder than daddy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the zip code again? 7433. 7433. Mobile phone. I should probably take that off camera. Him giving out personal information. <sighs> Getting there, man. Yeah. Week one down. Down the box. Week one down. You still out of shape? Oh yeah, I'm still out of shape. That's the worst. Is like the first two weeks of getting back into it. Yeah. And then once you do, it feels good. It's you feel in back. shape, you feel ready to rock, but that first two weeks sucks. My core can't hold up. Well, my core is, my core is having trouble holding up. Almost got me on board there. I still heard my core can't. Might have to you hear that? What? He said my core can't. Got right on the board. Ah. Playing penalty. Wait, what's this whole? Wait, why does he have to write it? Can't say can't. You just said it twice. I know, but we can't like say it. Doing something. Like I said, I can't get a win in Fortnite. So he wrote it up on the board. If I said I can't drive, gone that up too. Should we take a little time to talk about my eight kill Fortnite game? Steve, you're playing 50 v 50. It, okay, still, but it was still impressive. Was it not? I mean, I've seen like seven year olds do it. I mean, the seven year olds are better than me at Fortnite. They play a lot more. I just started playing. I'll give you that. Oh. Can you close that door? This one? Yeah. Take out Brent's political discussions. Fearless leader, how can we help? I don't know. What are y'all done? <laughs> he says, I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm about to set up these new harnesses. That, uh, did y'all do the harnesses today? Yeah. yeah. They open or no? What do you think? I need the feedback. It was easier. They're good. Yeah, they're easier, but they, they still are yeah, really they hard. They're fresh off though. Yeah. <clears throat> like when I got off of it and just did it like without it, like I was driving better. But I mean, it's still hard. It feels like you want, you want to get into there. Yeah. Sit down more. Yeah. Okay. I think it's we're both we're all kind of debating over the timing of our our leg getting into a linear position. That's the hard part. And extension. To force the, like we're all kind of like have our own opinion of the time. Did you see? Uh, I did that video. I have it on Instagram TV. I have it on YouTube. 
basically I said, it's called like drive leg 100 mile an hour pitcher. And it talks about all the things that have to happen. So like um, coming out of leg lift to get into a linear position, still delay it, your hips are closed, you're kind of rotated. We have to lift, fall, but as we're falling, we can't lose stability. So we have to sit into your back hip to create external rotation. Because sitting in your back hip, a little counter rotation, that holds external rotation. But at the same time too, you gotta keep the hips leading because that brings the force vector down. But there's this moment where you wanna peak momentum falling. You wanna basically uh, hit end of range and external rotation. So it's like, it all has to come together. It's like peak, counter rotate, external rotate, and then force vector linear somewhere to the front hip. It's like we have to hit all that at one moment and then we open and drop. So you're trying to hit three things to happen at one specific moment. If not, you're gonna have all different complications going up the chain to hit that one. Like if your momentum gets there, your whole torsion, but your force vector is vertical, now you're just gonna rotate. If you don't get a lot of momentum, you know, and your force vector's there. I mean, I mean, we go through each thing. Like, if, so if you're not holding torsion, you're gonna be collapsing. That's not gonna allow you to power. If you don't get enough momentum there, now you're gonna be just trying to accelerate all your energy on one leg in that position. It's just gonna compromise how explosive you're gonna go into your front foot. So it's like, if you don't have it all, it's not gonna optimize your delivery at that point. We started doing, uh like torsion holds for like yeah. 40 seconds yeah. with the, with the, the chair. Yeah. And then we just, instead of doing the chair, we would pop the plane, so yeah. harness. I feel like the harness is just in that same category of yeah. getting you to sit in that place. That everybody sees it. You know, you watch someone like Kenley Jansen, like he does it, he's like, you know, just, he sits way down there, Chapman sits way down there. I think I don't have explosion. I feel like I hold Ken torsion, Giles. Yeah. but I, I'm not explosive at the moment. But it's like even Cody Hall got on it and didn't feel comfortable at all because he's just so good at going momentum. I don't think, I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't get a lot of power out of his legs, but that would optimize him more if he did. So. Well, it takes away the gravity too. Like you, you don't feel the gravity. So your ground reaction forces, you have to work so hard to like try to get into the ground and yeah, feel it. In a way with the harness too, like bring it down a level to where it's not just completely right, all the right. gravity off you. But you can play with that. You could add a little more force, a little more force, or a little more, yeah, force, weight down. But yeah, I mean, it's fun to play with. Like one thing it's doing, it's just getting you in a position that if you didn't have something holding you, you never would have gotten there. So you get to feel a position that, that's why it's so weird, You're like wow, because you have never gotten in that position to drive. Right? You're gonna activate your core, and it's gonna give some resistance when you're going up, you have to damage yourself. Also, don't push on those, it'll pop. What all do I need to grab? You got told. This is how I make do at home. Yeah. Uh, he's saying the yoga, the blue yoga ball. Try to stay true as much as possible, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you up like That ball looks like it's going to explode. <laughs> yeah. 
you see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people think, oh, that's nothing. But honestly, if you're doing these kind of push-ups, they're kind of easy. I mean, like, yeah. they, that is really a challenge right like there. Okay. Hey, you, you gonna yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. I got to get the drill out. Sure. Can I leave the stand in this closet? Get the organized top. Or can I just tuck it in the PT room? Because I'm going to use it again. Okay. What's next? Forearm that. Forearms. Forearms. What? This is stupid hard. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's harder with it a bit deflated. Right, right. Too, so. get used to it like there hasn't had a day where I've seen a number below 80 right it's Louisiana is really like through summer it's hell really hot and humid and then the rest of the year it's really nice but um, yeah like I always get when summer starts coming around and you've had nice weather and then the summer heat kicks in like I get pissed off dude like everybody does like it's <laughs> Cause you're just like, dang man, there's gonna be three months of hell pretty much. I've never sweat this much in my life. Yeah, no, it's, it's, not it's even. a lot, man. I've had days where I could go through a workout and barely sweat at all. Right. And then here, I've been drinking like five, six bottles of water the time while I've been. Right, right. Like that's just unreal to me. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Ninja Warrior. Tortured flexes right there. 